Yeah, so guys, uh, we are in uh, final stages of the biodigester construction. Right now, we're just finishing up uh, stocking stones on the uh, soak pit. Soaking area, yeah. The soaking area. Yeah. yeah. But uh, everything on the biodigester is done. So you're telling me today in the evening, we can do our business. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh. Yes, today in the evening at around 7. Yes. Business can commence. Bus business can commence inside here. Yeah. Serious business, guys. You know, I'm super excited. <laughs> I'll, have, I'll have to test it and see if it's working. So Kindly, have you, kindly do it. Yes. yes. Have you already uh, put the, the, the enzymes? Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Uh, we'll put it tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yes. You know, I was. I wanted to see the enzymes. So I was. <laughs> As I put it. Yes. I'll I'll I'll, I'll show you. Oh, okay. Mm. And now my question is, uh, mm. with this uh, pipe here, that looks like a how do I call it? Like a breath or something? Yeah, something of the kind. Yeah. Uh, we'll we'll cut it f uh, to the level of the ground. Of now. the ground. Yes. That is why we le we've left it uh, a bit longer, mm -hmm. so that uh, as we put our as we do as we're doing our levels. Yes. Where we feel it's comfortable, so that it's not it's not when we need it, it's not deep in the soil. Okay. We get it a bit shallow. Okay. Yeah. So that is uh, the longer we put it mm -hmm. as we do the levels. Mm -hmm. We we'll cut it uh, where where the ground level will be now. Yes. Yeah. And uh, my question is. Mm. So it's guarantee no smell, no, no smell, smell here. No smell. Even that pipe will not no, give out smell. No, no, no. no. Uh. There will be no any any bad smell is not there. Yeah, because you know we have uh, we have to ask about that and to be sure because mm. it's close to the house. We normally put it inside the house. The, ki the, <laughs> the, kitchen, the kitchen, kitchen is right is there. there. <laughs> so <laughs> we're just trying to be sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh. yeah it's more stones. So and these are there's no way these will start you know like pressing down or sinking. No, this is it won't. It's compact enough yeah. from down deep there. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. Mm. Okay, yeah. I see. So this one. Wait. It was not a. It's not an easy work. <laughs> Let me get close. Mm. So guys, you can see we have a a lot of stones that are being arranged carefully so that not to leave a lot of spaces around here this is the soaking area or you can say the soak pit and then the biodigester over there and uh, right now we just want now to start you know by covering it with soil so what's the work of the of the of the paper oh, this polythene yes it will now cover the the soil yes it will not uh, it will not enter into the stones the hard core now oh yeah. oh oh and i'll get yeah. when uh, if the soils enter into the stones they will uh, block yeah, they, they they, yeah. you know and then uh, water will not uh, yeah. yeah so the so, work of uh, this polythene yes it's to cover the top soil to separate the soil, soil and the, the hard core yes yes Ah. Mm. So guys, uh, you see, we are now covering the stones, you know, the hardcore stones and the soak pit, so that uh, we prevent soil from getting inside. And if it gets inside, it will get into the spaces between the stones, exactly. and then it will become soaking, uh, soaking system will not be efficient. Yeah, it will become muddy, yes. and then uh, yeah, I understand. Uh, uh. Ah, you can now do it. Please. So now we we, are, we can start covering, guys. Wow. My other question. Uh, I know he answered me yesterday. I remembered. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, but you are allowed to ask yeah. as many questions. But, as but, but, but for me, you know, I was thinking, you know, like uh, the exit from the socket. Yeah. It's on top, right? Yeah. I was wondering where, where would it be on top instead. 
No, it will, it will just be on the, the level of the ground, but a little bit, like uh, six inch down. You know, let, mm. let's use this quick example here mm. of the tank. The, the input has to be on top, right? Yes. But the exit, you place it. So the waste pipe from the sock pit, it's uh, our sock pit, the waste pipe is somewhere around here. Yes. I was thinking it is more efficient, easy if it's... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> the, 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 whatever, the system of uh, digesting. Okay. We want a tank that will digest, then spill off gradually. Okay. Yeah. Oh. It, the, 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 whatever, the digestion takes the, 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 uh, that, uh, that system of, uh, whatever. Okay. Slowly in the tank. Digestion. Oh. The, di the, the digestion. The digestion. It's called the slowly. digester. Mm -hmm. So it has to digest gradually as uh, as it leaves the scum down and spill off the water. Okay. As the waste comes from the house, it digests slowly, mm -hmm. spill off the water. Mm -hmm. The system goes like that. So you have mm -hmm. said it leaves uh, the, how have you called it, the scum? Yeah, the scum. The scum down. Mm -hmm. Does it get to a point that the scum gets filled up now? No, it will not. Mm -hmm. It will be digested. Okay. Yeah, the scum will be digested. Okay. Mm. No problem. I I need to understand like how it really works so that in the future in case of anything we know how to yeah, handle know it. How handle yes. Exactly. Yeah. 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 But yeah. Yeah. Uh, so guys it's uh, work done here we can say that we can say that it is work done yeah uh, it's the only bit remaining is you know uh, putting the enzymes the digest digestive enzymes inside and then uh work will begin but uh, uh most definitely from uh, tomorrow or today the evening we'll start using you know the toilets in the house so wow this uh, i feel so excited you know sometimes you start work you're not sure of how it will come out but uh, when i see things coming to an end successfully it gives me a lot of joy and uh, I'm super happy. Anyway, guys, I didn't even introduce myself. This is your boy, the Time Master KE, the real village boy, guys. The real village boy. And today I'm coming live from my home here in the village in Kenya, East Africa, in Kitale town, or in China village. Kitale is like our main town. It's not, uh, it's quite some distance from here, around uh, 20, 20 to 25 kilometers. But yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Let's continue watching this and uh, please remember to drop me a comment and tell me what you think about this. Tell me if uh, you'll consider putting up a sock, uh, I mean, a biodigest or a septic tank. Now that we know the difference between a biodigest and a septic tank, which one would you put up in your home? Which one would you prefer? But personally, I will go with a biodigester, honestly, because it's, uh, you know, we are creating something that is future proof something that you can still use even with time to come and like uh, the the septic tank that you know gets filled up and all that anyway uh thank you so much for watching let's continue watching this video and uh may you stay blessed but over here on this other side before i go on this side here we have sami how are you you're good what are you doing, Sami? What are you doing? This one. So basically, guys, we are preparing corn to take to the millers so that we can get our flour, maize flour for ugali. So uh, sometimes you find there are small parts that are not good uh, that you have to take out. You know, maybe some are rotten and you have to take it out to have a clean, you know, clean maize that you can comfortably eat. So that's what Sami is doing, and you know, here we go. We 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 we. we, we. Yeah. So my 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 GoPro turned off, but uh, yeah, this is the maze. We are going to make all this to be flat, and then we'll have uh, food to eat. And Sami is here helping out. Sami, how are you? Yeah. Yay.
<laughs> yes, Rika, Yahoo. Yeah? Yeah, Yahoo. Well, yes. You, you're very good. I'm you're what? working. You're yes. working. Yes. Uh, maze. Maze. Yes. This maze. Yes. Yes. <laughs> guys, yeah. That's it. But, uh, yeah, the manholes are ready, guys. You can see we have, these are the waste pipes. This is still open because they're going to put, uh, uh, the breather, or I don't know how it's called, that goes up there outside. But we have manholes here. You know, this is from uh, water from the bathroom and uh, also the hand wash sink. But this is the toilet. You see? And then we have another manhole here that, uh, in case you want to do anything, you'll come inspect from the here. And then from here, you go direct to another manhole. You see? Another manhole here, and then uh, uh, another. I don't know how we call it. Should go there, but uh, another manhole on this side, and then uh, we have now this. You see, this is what I'm talking about. In it, what you Breather. Yeah. So, so this one is connected uh, to the toilet. You know. You connect it that way, that way, and then it goes out. So that's what now we are fixing right now. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. engineer, what what are you doing? Sorry. <laughs> oh. Everything is ready. Everything is ready. Yes. <laughs> or it's done. Yeah. It's so, done. Guarantee how many years? <laughs> you have to give me guarantee. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> guys, <laughs> guys, that's <laughs> at most I'm ten. Giving at most ten. Yes. At most ten. Uh -huh. The one I've ever, I've ever serviced. Uh -huh. That ten years. Ten years. Yeah, and it, uh, it is in a hospital. Oh, Community cottage hospital. Okay. I did it. I was called there after 10 years. You can imagine that is a public. Okay. What of this one? Uh -huh. A domestic. Okay. I may not even be called. <laughs> I needed I, I to get that so that in case you need yeah. anything, I can just call you. <laughs> yeah, I'm there. I'm there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, you remember to give me the receipt? Yes. Yes, yes. I'll receive it right away. Yeah, yeah. Right please. away. Yeah. So, guys, I think it's ready. Mm. Yeah. In case you need to access the pit, you just mm. open here. Yes. Okay. The digester, not the, the digester. Pit. I mean, the mm. digester. The I'm digester, sorry. Yeah. And over here, there's uh, the soak area, the yeah. soaking area of the yeah. soak pit. You can access the, the soaking area from yeah. there. So right now they just want to put the sand and make sure the place not is the level. Sand, the soil. The soil. Mm. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I need. Mean, maybe I should go find lunch <laughs> because. <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Ah, uh, asante sana bora, nani engineer? Meshkuru sana. Pleasure, pleasure. Yeah. Was uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll we'll see. I'll see you again tomorrow because you'll be putting yeah, enzymes be in tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be here okay. tomorrow. Okay. I'll be here tomorrow. Yeah. After visit, do you know when to manage to go to Nairobi? Oh. Yes, the visit. Why were you chilling last week? Oh, okay. Uh, mm. They were a bit busy. Yes. Do I mean this? I mean we take on North Rift. Oh, so no problem. Mm. Yeah. By experts, this is the result. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. Dated the remoja. This was hard. Okay. No problem. Mm. No problem. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> yeah, so guys, I was just making sure we have uh, the proper documents like the receipts and everything. Yes. Yeah, just for the record. Not even I pay the tax. You also pay the tax. Yes. I also pay the tax. <laughs> We are tax compliant. Yeah. <laughs> and we are told we'll pay tax. Yeah, you're not even yeah. just sending you the money, I've already paid tax. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sending the money, you've already paid yeah. tax. Yeah, <laughs> so we pay tax on all fronts. But, uh, exactly. Yeah, it's okay. On it's okay. all fronts, we pay tax. Yeah. 
Either you, we like it or not. You like it or not. You don't have a car. You still pay tax for <laughs> for, for, for petroleum or for fuel because you'll, you 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 you'll you use a bus. Vehicle, yeah. You bought a vehicle. and when you pay the transport, you pay tax. You paid tax. Or uh, you'll need materials <laughs> to be brought here. Yeah. That's tax. That is tax. Yeah. <laughs> Is okay. yes. I hope they are going to make this place, you know, uh, the ground to look okay. Yeah, it's now. Yes. Dad will uh, will show them the way he wants now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we've covered this primarily, mm -hmm. but Dad will show them the way he wants himself. Oh, okay. okay. The gradient and whatever plus this soil. Okay. He'll show them uh, how to spread this soil oh, plus okay. this other end. Okay. But the way we've done, mm -hmm. we are now okay. Mm -hmm. the, the digester is ready for use. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anyway, pleasure. Mm. Uh, it was a pleasure doing work together. Yes, uh, I'm happy too. Uh, I will call you maybe when we have more to to take care. I know you don't deal with septics and uh, biodigesters alone. Yes, you do a lot of other construction. I do a lot of other construction. Yeah. Mm. So maybe in future when we want to do something, I'll also contact you. Thank you. Yes. I'm there for you. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Anyway, thank you so much. Welcome. Then apu akikisha mekande kumzure. Yes, uh, welcome back. So right now with me here, I have the enzymes, although it's not uh, what I expected. You know, when we were talking of enzymes, I, I expected they're like, you know, small animals or something of the sort. But uh, uh, we have this, it's called a biodigester, you know, and they say prevents pit latrines, septic tanks from fill ups, you know, all that. So I'm with my dad. Hello, dad. Hello. Yeah. So basically what we want to do, we want to uh, apply the biodigester or the enzymes to, you know, our biodigester. And uh, we were given instruction that uh, this one, you need to mix it with uh, uh, 20 liters of water. And then you just pour it into your biodigester or even your septic tank or even your soak pit. So that's what we want to do today so that officially now the house will become functional and guys on this other side you can see we already did some landscaping here look at how flat this place looks look we already covered everything actually uh, the biodigester is somewhere down here but uh, look at it uh, how flat it looks we just did a lot of you know landscaping and we are hoping it will look good Dad, yes. when they were saying enzymes, did you expect something like this? No. <laughs> close, close one. Okay. Up. Oh, it's powder, guys. It's just powder. Wow. And look at how they are reacting with the water. Look at the bubbles. Yeah, so actually the guy who was constructing just gave us this and told us, gave us the instruction of what to do. Basically, is you mix with uh, 20 liters of water and then you just pour it inside and that's what you're going to do. You know? Prevents uh, pit latrines, septic tank and soak pits from fill ups. Uh, eats up water in septic tanks and pit latrines. Eats up paper, polythene, diapers in toilet. And blocking, and blocking sinks, drainage and sewage. So basically this, uh, this, this uh, enzyme or this biodigester can even um, unblock, you know, uh, can block, uh, how do you call them? Sewages can block you know your sinks and your drainage you just pour this inside and then it will just eat up everything wow i mean it even it even digests uh, papers poly polythene papers even diapers so this thing this this is really good you look how it looks actually guys i can hear it you know like kuchemka how do you say kuchemka like boiling i can hear it boiling guys Wow. 
So I think that we can even put this in our toilet when it is full. Yeah. You put inside the, our your 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 toilet and then mm. it just uh, digests everything. Yeah. Uh. Hello. Hi, hi. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, hi. Suezi ifanya yote mara moja? Ya ya parcel na hiyo nani? Eh plus hiyo nyingine ya parcel. Hai, hai. Hai, let me text you in a few. Okay. Wake up. Wake up. So we are just going to pour it uh, inside through this manhole. We have this manhole here. You see? So this manhole goes to the to the to the biodigestor to the tank. Look at how it looks like. And our biodigester is ready, and we can start now using it without worry. Wow. So guys, basically right now, the house, we can start showering inside the house, we can use the in-house uh, uh, toilet, because everything now is ready, look at this, you can't even tell there's something down here, you know, wow. So you can imagine after doing this, we have a, we have another like, let's say, okay, let's give it to the lower side. We have like three other years so that we can come add another uh, enzyme or another digester. Like three years now. You can imagine, guys, we have finished that business and we have forgotten. And now we are ready to go. See, I can cover it now. now on a white. You are so nice, you are so nice. You are so nice. You are so nice. You are so nice. Oh, you are so nice. You are so nice. And then we have the manhole cover here. Like this. Good. Dad, so now everything is ready. It is okay now. Your, your biodigester is now ready. It's ready for use. Yeah, for use. The house, you can use it all you want. Yeah. The kitchen can be used. Yes. Uh, the toilet, the bathroom. Yeah. I think today I'll also shower here, guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's okay. It's it, complete now. Now it's complete. Yeah. Actually, now the house is, we can say, is usable because the parts of the house now yeah. that are needed like the toilet the bathroom the hand wash everything is ready now it's only painting yeah we will now painting furniture but now basically the house is usable yeah yeah anyway guys thank okay. you so much yeah thank you yeah you're welcome dad
Uh, thank you so much, guys. Uh, finally, our big project that we started is completed, and I'm super excited. And if uh, we have completed this project, that tells you these open doors for more now for new projects to come. You know, when you're, you're done with one, we have opened doors for many other to come. Like right now, we have you know finished up with the with this, which is the you know the west system. Uh, we have done the house actually of only painting remaining and furniture but now we have done it like let's say 90 percent of the house so right now this opens doors for me to start you know what we call uh, the chicken project i told you guys that i'm going to start the chicken project i've been buying materials like uh, i bought uh, i bought sand i've ordered for bricks that are needed and uh, soon we are starting to prepare timber from our forest down there we have a forest down there so very soon i'll also be starting to prepare timber for the same project the only now big thing that will be remaining is iron sheets because now that's where <laughs> oh, iron sheet and getting now the chicks that, those are the two most challenging part of the new project that we are about to start and actually guys we'll not be doing it uh, at our initial site that we had proposed back there you know initially we had proposed to do our project back there just there but now we changed the project will be doing it at the farm you know where you see the maze just over there so we'll be we'll change that we'll put uh, our chicken project there because actually we realized on the other side we don't have enough space but here we have a very big space that we can utilize and the maze is almost ready so very soon we'll start you know getting maize for uh for roasting and for also boiling but uh it's not dry but we'll be getting there so we'll be creating space so that very soon we can start uh you know doing the project there and actually my my plan or my dream is to have you know all of this part with the project with the chicken house chicken house up to the other end so that at least you know we can have something sustainable so yeah that's it we are we have the, we are starting to make you know steps into the new projects and guys believe me this will also come to a reality i don't like right now the project requires a lot and like right now when i look at myself i know i don't have much or enough but uh i believe that uh it will come to completion and there's power in starting you know if i start something i know that we'll see it come to the end because one of the worst things is the fear of starting if you don't start something if you don't try something you'll never know the outcome so i'm you know i'm deciding to step into the deep waters i'll start this project i know it requires a lot but it will come to completion guys anyway uh thank you so much for watching i'm super excited you know that we have been able to do all this from here you know to here that we have been able to do that i'm super excited and i'm super thankful guys uh may god keep blessing you may god uh you know uh, keep blessing you for staying with me or accompanying me in this a uh, long journey that uh, we have had together i truly do appreciate man because i only have done it alone you know it's with your support it is with you guys watching my videos sometimes you know you feel low you know no views but you guys still always come back even when you know i'm not like in the proper state but thank you so much uh right now i'm super excited that finally the house that we started that you know looked <laughs> the way it looked right now we can use it and you know that gives me a lot of joy and it also gives me a lot of joy seeing that uh, uh we have been able to do this for our parents and guys let me tell you this in this life if you're in a position to you know like help your parents family even friends or just anyone just do give the help you know because i can't i just can't explain the amount of joy it brings me you know seeing that uh we came the house was full of dust now we have we have taken that away uh, the house didn't have ceiling we have done that we didn't have toilets and the waste system we already have all that done you know it gives me joy because i know if maybe i didn't come you know to the village maybe all this nothing would have been done trust me you know and uh, <laughs> this way i sit sometimes and i uh, say that uh sometimes god's god works in mysterious ways uh trust me god works in mysterious way you know just from me coming to home look at all this 
and again from me having my accident you know guys i'm healed i'm 96 percent healed just a small part but i'm covering it uh, just to avoid jumps because i don't want jumps um you know to to affect the wound but i was saying from me having the accident i had to come here and stay at home but you guys can tell me or can bear me witness that with me staying here at home for that period of time we have done a lot of things we have saved a lot you know from the farm to the house and that's uh, sometimes where i sit down and say things can happen in your life that uh, seem so bad you know see that can you know put you so down but i uh, always look at the positive side of it you don't know what god is trying you know to communicate to you or what god is trying to do in your life and that's why for me, I always see positive in everything, no matter how bad it is, no matter how challenging the situation can be. I just, you know, you know guys, for now, let me end this video uh, here and I'll see you guys on the next video as uh, we, we will start to make the first steps to our chicken project. And uh, also, as I introduce to you, the new brides in this home guys we have a new bride trust me you don't want to miss the next video because we have a not okay i broke the news but uh we have an amazing thing coming on we have a new member of this family guys we have gotten a new member and i can't wait to break the news to you on my next video so please be sure to watch the next video but for now this is the end of the video I appreciate so much respect and i'll see you on the next video bye bye